Stock Play of the Day Overtime is an educational program. Any statements made by Ally Invest employees are not intended to be or should be considered investment advice, a recommendation to buy, sell, or hold a security, or a recommendation to adopt an investment strategy. Welcome to the Stock Play of the Day Overtime Edition. This week on Monday, Stock Play of the Day, we talked about the Chicago Board Option Exchange. The symbol is CBOE. Well, today we'll discuss, did we score or did we fumble? Hello, my name is Brian Overby. I am the Senior Options Analyst with Ally Invest. Now, on Monday Stock Play of the Day, we looked at a cash-secured put in the Chicago Board Option Exchange, symbol CBOE. The cash put is a strategy where you are selling a put with a prices at. Now, the fact that we call it cash secured means that we have the capital in our account to buy the stock at that strike price if we are put that stock before that expiration date, implying that all we're really saying with a cash secured put is that if the stock goes lower, we are willing to buy, in this instance, 100 shares, which means we sold one option contract. So, Let's look at what happened with the stock since Monday. What we see in front of us is a 15-minute chart. Uh, this was Monday. Monday was uh, August 3rd, and we see at noon Eastern time, that's when we taped the stock play of the day. We, since that point, the stock over the next uh, few hours was fairly flat. Then we had a little bit of a move to the upside, went all the way up to 88 uh, the, the very next day, uh, then came dropping down precipitously all, down, all the way down below our actual put strike, which was at the 85 level. So we got very close to the put strike, uh, the, the 85 strike put, but it didn't quite get there. Stock ran back up, came back down. So it's actually been extremely choppy since our stock play of the day on Monday, but we did actually get down below that level. So here's 85, that's where our, our underlying stock is at. And now the stock, once again, is making a strong move to the upside. And today we see, if I go to the Ally Invest option chains, we see that the stock is actually up about 3% today, uh, $2.53. So what trade did we do? Let's set it up. On August the August 21st expiration, which was 21 days away, we now see that it's 14 days away, uh, the underlying stock was trading at 86.20 at that time. So right now we see it at 87.53, so it's up since we've done that trade. And that option contract that we sold is now trading for, and I'm gonna call, like let's just say a dollar. It's 95 cents by a dollar 10. We'll call the midpoint somewhere around a dollar, dollar five. We'll make the math simple and we'll call it a dollar. So right now on that trade, we sold that option contract for a dollar 75. We could buy that option contract back for a dollar right now, it means that we are up 75 cents on that trade. So is this trade a winner or is this trade a loser? Well, it's kind of hard to say in that, as we were talking about the Chicago Board Option Exchange, we talked about we wouldn't mind buying 100 shares if the underlying stock went down. And that's why we have the capital in the account to do it, hence the name cash secured put. Well, the underlying stock didn't go down. The CBOE is now up from when we put on that trade. So that's good news for our option strategy, but it also means that we might have missed out on an opportunity if the stock continues on up and let's say it goes to 90, 95, well, we would rather have bought the 100 shares at the lower price than, uh, than actually received the net credit for my account. But with that said, by selling that 85 strike put, brought in $1.75 on, on that day, that means our cost basis would have been $83.25 to buy that 100 shares. So you don't wanna look a gift horse in the mouth. So you are actually up on this trade, you're sold one option contract. If you did sell it cash secured, that mean, means you had $8,500 in your account. If you were put that stock at 85, you could have bought 100 shares of stock with that capital in your account. 
Now, as always on the stock play of the day, whenever we're looking at these trades, we're just talking about them on an educational basis. We talk about them as paper trades. We don't think of them as an actual trade that we're trying to do. We're just trying to learn here on the stock play of the day, overtime edition today. Um, so in the right-hand rail, you are up on the trade. So I'd like to just show, just for sake, um, how I would close out that trade. We still have 14 days remaining, so you might as well just let that trade ride, and hopefully you get to buy the stock at the lower price. Hopefully that still comes within the range. Had a fairly quick and big move to the upside today, but if it comes back down, we'd still be willing to buy it. Okay, so with that said, you are up 75 cents on this trade. If you wanted to close the trade, when we sold this underlying, we sold it to open. Now the trade would be buy to close. So we would just go over in the right rail, we'd write buy to close one, make sure we got the right expiration, the right strike, and the midpoint right now is about a dollar. So a dollar two, I'm gonna make it at a limit of a dollar. That means that we're gonna work the trade, we're not doing it at the market, we're gonna try to work the trade somewhere in between, and we'd hit preview and send that order, and that would be the way that we would close out our option position to try to capture the 75 cents of profitability that the trade currently has. All right, so now, Cash Secured Puts, uh, this is the Cash Secured Put strategy that we looked at on Monday Stock Play of the Day, and uh, here's the difference between a naked put and a cash secured put or an uncovered put, if you will. At, inside the playbook, we highlight the fact that if you're doing it cash secured, you really want to buy the stock. So we see the profitability in the blue line here of the actual option trade and that I'm selling something. And usually when you sell something, the most that you can make is the credit received. So it's limited and known, but I still have substantial downside potential. But our goal is to buy the stock. So if it does come down, I may get put the stock. And if I own that stock, then the dotted line re represents where our cost basis would be, right where we cross that X axis. In our case, it would be $83.25 because we received that credit of $1.75. Then we have substantial upside because we own the underlying stock, but we still have all the risk of owning the underlying